What happened when you found a Reddit post written about you? As in, did you ever find a post written about you from a friend, peer, ex, so, etc? What happened? I think mine actually might be a kind of rare gem. I found a post on a dating advice subreddit that was definitely written by a guy the first went out with one time, the post was about our date. Other posts include pics of him and link to his YouTube, so there's no question about it. His post wasn't mean-spirited, but it expressed some negatives from our date and communications. The people who responded had good feedback. Everything was very respectful. Through reading his post I identified some things to work on with my dating style and I've kept that thread in mind as I'm with my current boyfriend on mistakes not to repeat. Overall, it actually left a good impression on me that he reached out to others for advice and had a mature response about what went wrong. I hope he finds someone who fulfills what he needs, just an all-around good dude that wasn't the one for me. I discovered one day that one of my friends was using Reddit as a platform to post about her rape fantasies with me in the oh-so-honorable role as the star victim. She is not my friend anymore. I found a post written about me from my ex-husband. Two very distinct things made me think it was him although I obviously have no way of confirming it. One was that he mentioned his ex had been to prison twice. Which I have. The other that his ex was still nursing their daughter. I still am, I practice extended breastfeeding, our daughter is three. His post of course didn't mention the abuse, sexual assault, cheating, stealing, lying. The fact that he's never changed a diaper or stayed up late with our daughter. Nope. Just that his ex-wife was keeping him away from his kid because the courts are sexist. I told a guy that his obvious scam was a scam and he flipped out and posted a screencap of my comment to r. Confidently incorrect thinking he was going to show me how wrong I am. And everyone there also told him that his obvious scam was a scam. I found a post from my former best friend. Saying that everyone goes through shit but that's no reason to be negative. She went on to say how awful I was for being negative all the time. The reason I was being so, negative, was because I became very depressed after being raped. She knew I had been, and rather than communicate with me, she ghosted me. So to see that stung a bit. I try to remind myself I am not the awful person she thinks I am and that I had a human reaction to a traumatic event, and unfortunately it translated to my other relationships. At 18 I didn't have the tools to cope with an event like that. A man working at a local entertainment venue I visited with my sister one time posted my full name, address, phone number, email address, social media, photos of me, photos of my child, photos of the outside of our flat, our daily schedule, and some details from a sealed court record in my childhood. He posted it to a shady subreddit as well as to a few other dubious websites. I was fortunate enough to catch wind of it from a friend in law enforcement. He did this because I did not want a relationship. My ex wrote a 4chan post about me saying I hate that he goes on 4chan but I couldn't even read it bc they delete their posts after a day or something. I just saw the title of it from looking in his browser history lol and then I saw he googled escorts in our area and we broke up. Yep, he had a secret fat fetish and wrote about how much more he preferred having sex with them than me. It's how I found out he was cheating, and I sobbed for days afterwards. At least I got to take out the trash afterwards. I'll never understand why he wanted to stay together when he obviously prefers having sex with other women. It was great. A friend casually mentioned a gift we got them postpartum as being particularly helpful. Now we get everyone food delivery gift card not dropping off pre-prepared food or other things, when they have a new baby. Highly recommend if you ever have new parents in your life. My ex posted about how he was heartbroken and lost when we broke up. The hilarious twist is he told the internet he broke up with me tears of joy his ego even fought its way through the armor of anonymity. Nothing. The only Reddit posts I've seen written about me are from salty people who hate being held to the rules for subs where I mod and who go on rants about it when their content is moderated discovered a post my ex made about me, with a link to a publicly open Google document where he gave my full name, home address and many personal details. I reported it and it got taken down really fast, like within 20 minutes or so. Still it freaked me out quite a bit and for the next two years I'd continuously check up his online activity, not on Reddit due to the account being blocked or deleted or something. But on other sites where I knew his username, due to a fear he'd post something personal like that again. Never found my anything similar, however I did find a death threat. I reported that too. It also caused me to delete my account as well as for a few years after generate new names and start new accounts. 
I reported it because it was some weird incel that stole my selfie in a makeup group to repost it in black women fetish subreddits. I hate it here. It was a post on True Off My Chest with the title, I'm so sick of the disrespect I get from gamer girls. The post went on to complain about how the bitches he meets in games always end up doing blatantly disrespectful shit like ignoring him when he's talking to them. I wouldn't have even known it was about me if I hadn't clicked on the link that led to the screencap of our Discord conversation, where my name wasn't even blurred out. I had only ever played with this guy once before in my life. He was a friend of a friend, and when I played with him the second, last time, I added his Discord and made a group call with everyone that was playing. He stayed muted almost the entire time while simultaneously personal messaging me, a stranger, to talk shit about one of my other friends in the group. I put all of that information in a comment under the post, and he almost immediately deleted it. I tried to look up his username but he either blocked me or deleted the account. Not about me thankfully but I did once find a half-naked photo of my ex, who I haven't seen in years, on a sub for weight loss. Fastest double take I've ever done in my life. Found a whole slew of posts about me from my ex's wife who had been stalking my Reddit for a year. Made a post calling her out on it, she deleted her account and I abandoned that one. I don't need that kind of drama. My ex wrote something really kind about caring more about my brain than my body and it was one of the nicest things anyone's ever said, especially anonymously. Not on Reddit, but in the age of Tumblr, a girl I went to high school with was documenting my life on her multiple blogs. She was basically stalking myself and a couple other of my friends. She had over 11 accounts spanning from intense, violent sexual fantasies to writing about my daily routine. She had posted how she wanted to kill me, and claimed I was bullying hers. Her followers advocated for violence, and the police ended up getting involved. My ex wrote a short story about a sex-crazed Medusa-like character, me, which detailed our sex life, and I mean detailed, and went on about what a shit lay I am and how he was free of me. He posted it and then sent the link to all of my friends and family upside down face. My so's ex writes about him, me fairly often. She is a nutcase with a serious victim complex. The stories are half true with tons of exaggeration or lies mixed in. She's tried to weasel into him taking her back a few times, yet she writes like he caused all her problems and is a total piece of shit she wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. In one, she refers to me as a stripper in a derogatory way, like insinuating that he met me at work and I was just some trashy girl. We were friends way before I was a dancer. The extra irony is that she was a stripper and I was told by my friend, her former manager that she was doing, extras. The projection was real, oi. I don't say anything lest she change her account info. It's mildly entertaining, like watching a car crash.